Hello and welcome everyone. Our today's topic is understand how to develop an implementable strategic marketing plan. And today's subject is uh, strategic marketing. We will uh, discuss uh, level, uh, sorry, learning outcome for. My name is Yasir Gulfraz. I'm your tutor for strategic marketing. Uh, in today's lecture, uh, Anybody, if anyone is there, can you see my screen and can you hear me? If there is any issue, concerns, please uh, let me know. Okay, in today's lecture, we will discuss the world of strategic marketing, understanding how to develop and implement an uh, effective strategic marketing plan uh, is important for any business success. Uh, a strategic marketing plan is not just a, a mere document. It is a roadmap that guides your advertising and marketing efforts for the year ahead. Uh, it outlines specific marketing objectives to be achieved within a defined uh, time frame. But how do you create such a plan? That's what we will explore in the uh, upcoming uh, lecture or lectures. So what is marketing plan? Anybody can explain if anyone is there? Okay, a marketing plan is a comprehensive document or blueprint that outlines the advertising and marketing efforts uh, for the coming year. It describes business activities involved in accomplishing specific uh, marketing objectives within a set time of frame. Uh, it is essential that we do understand uh, what marketing plan is. A marketing plan is like the architect blueprint for your uh, you know, marketing efforts in the coming year. It details the uh, activities, advertising strategies, and tactics required to achieve specific marketing objectives uh, within a time uh, set time frame. So, in a sense, it's your business roadmap to success. So, a comprehensive uh, market. The marketing plan com comprises seven key components. Uh, a plan contains seven main components, market research and analysis. The first components of a marketing plan allow you to gather uh, pertinent information about the potential market for your produ product and or services, evaluate strengths and weaknesses and identify a target audience. So basically this is where you gather essential information about your potential market, evaluate strengths and uh, weaknesses and identify your target audience. Then uh, obviously marketing, uh, uh, and financial goals. And objectives. Uh, defining clear goals and objectives like uh, setting a destination of your marketing journey. They provide focus and a way to measure and progress. So marketing mix. Uh, the heart of your plan. The marketing mix in encompasses. Uh, strategies for product development, uh, pricing, distribution, and uh, 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 distribution and promotion. It is the engine that drives your marketing efforts. Then uh, we talk about uh, marketing budget. This component of a marketing plan uh, consists of developing a marketing budget, which, uh, which will allow you to plan for marketing expenditures. So basically, without uh, everyone knows that budget, your plan may like directions. Your budget outlines how much you are willing to invest in each marketing activity, ensuring efficient resources allocation. 
then uh, monitoring and evaluating uh, marketing uh, market response so once your plan is uh, in motion you need uh, mechanisms to assess its effectiveness uh, this ongoing evaluation helps you make real time adjustments ensuring you say or stay on course So uh, then contingency plan, the contingency plan uh, describe possible adjustments to make to your strategies. If your marketing tactics and are more or less effective than originally planned. So the business world can be unpredictable. Having a contingency plan prepare you to uh, adopt to unforeseen circumstances are uh, safeguarding your uh, marketing efforts from unexpected setbacks. Uh, then uh, marketing plan uh, checklist. So the final component of your marketing plan is marketing plan checklist. The checklist allows you to summarize the tasks that need to be accomplished to put your plan into action. Uh, this checklist serves as a practical tool to ensure uh, nothing is overlooked. It provides a clear roadmap for implementing your plan. Any question so far, if anyone is there? Any question, concerns, issues? Okay. So uh, analyze the factors to be taken into account in the development of a marketing uh, plan. So here is uh, giving an example of IKEA as well. Is a major, uh, you know, market, uh, you know, stores for uh, uh, furnitures or and households. So here we will explore the important factors to consider when developing a marketing plan. Uh, using IKEA as an example. So to begin with, it is essential to analyze the market where your business operate. Uh, for Akia, uh, you know, uh, statistical data from 2018 highlights that their major sales come from the uh, EU market, making them a leader there. So, however, they face different challenges in the American and global markets where they are considered challenges or, uh, you know, niche players. This insight emphasizes the uh, you know, significant uh, uh, significance of understanding market dynamics and adapting strategic strategies accordingly. So, uh, IKEA's strategy focuses on positioning uh, themselves as a cost-effective brand, offering produce that customers uh, can assemble and uh, dismantle themselves. They charge customers separately for uh, transportation and assembly, ensuring cost effectiveness. Additionally, uh, IKEA places a strong uh, emphasis on uh, social media and enhancing the in-store experience. Uh, their approach involves factors such as store locations, uh, decor, quality, price, and even this canteen. As all these aspects, you know, contribute to customer satisfaction uh, and loyalty. So this illustration, how a well thought out marketing plan should incorporate market analysis, strategic uh, positioning and customer experience uh, enhancement. So any questions so far? If anyone is there? Okay, IKEA, uh, SWOT analysis, uh, strength, opportunities, weakness, uh, opportunities, weaknesses, and threats. So here we will uh, conduct a, a SWOT analysis of IKEA, uh, dissecting their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So IKEA strength, uh, you know, lie in its globally recognized brand, offering standardized pro 
you know, uh, uh, products of consistent quality and range worldwide. So they are extensive uh, products range at affordable prices and commitment to uh, democratic design further solid, solidify their market positions. They also adhere to the, uh, you know, uh, way of purchasing home furnishing products meeting social and environmental norms, which is a significant strength. Additionally, their use of uh, recyclable and reclaimed materials showcase a commitment to sustainability. Uh, opportunities, uh, environment friendly material will result in good, uh, you know, returns longer run as discussed. So examining opportunities, IKEA can capitalize on the growing demand of uh, uh, environmentally, uh, environmentally, uh, environmental friendly materials and products, uh, a recyclable, recyclable economy with no uh, landfill can further enhance their brand image. Uh, the rising interest in uh, greener and more affordable products align with IKEA strengths. Uh, however, IKEA faces certain weaknesses, including challenges related to a large scale operation, uh, operations, potentially not meeting standards and re uh, regulations on uh, working conditions, maintaining good quality at low prices can be a challenge and uh, staying connected with stakeholders. Uh, worldwide, especially customers, is important to address negative in-store experiences can quickly lead to negative uh, world of mouth, so which is another weaknesses. Any question if anyone is there? Okay, uh, develop an implementable plan for a given organization. So, IKEA needs to work and weaknesses and threats in order to achieve positive outcome. IKEA needs to focus on the following in order to establish long-term uh, relationship with customers uh, through relationship marketing. Uh, so focus on the social media. IKEA needs to develop worldwide social network with existing and potential customers especially first time buyer, which is the entry level age of IKEA, for example, 20 years or above. Uh, this age group is likely to be active more on social media. So IKEA need to promote uh, its cycle economy for spreading world of mouth through social media campaign, the green products, sustainable, no landfill and recyclability can be some of the important features of the campaign. So, uh, there there needs for an extensive focus on social media. IKEA should develop a worldwide social network. So, particularly, are uh, targeting first time buyer, typically age twenty five and above. So, uh, people twenty five and above, as you know, that more active on. So social media, they can promote their commitment to circular economy, emphasizing green and sustainable products, no landfill and uh, recyclability uh, through social media campaign. So uh, customer experience is paramount. IKEA can enhance it by developing technology within stores, assisting customer in product selection and improving the uh, self-service process they should also consider tie-ups for quick transportation or uh, delivery services to uh, further improve the in-store experiences. Any questions or any uh, if you any comments, any questions, any comments if anyone is there? Okay, highway implementation across value chain. So here we will discuss two important aspects of developing an implementable marketing plan for IKEA. So firstly, we will explore the implementation of IWAY. Uh, 
way of purchasing home furnishing uh, furnishing products across the value chain ikea must ensure uh, that all staff members and suppliers are not only trained but also ready to embrace their responsibility in implementing iway uh, it is however it is essential to uh, strike a balance while adherence to iway is uh, vital for social and environmental responsibility uh, ikea should ensure that this does not disrupt their economy of scale uh, some suppliers might find it challenging to implement the program and there exist from the supply chain uh, could provide opportunities for uh, competitors so ikea needs to uh, focus on uh, developing more efficient technology and improving their value chain to ensure a seamless transition to iwe standards uh, secondly, we'll discuss enhancing the customer experience here so IKEA can deploy technology within the store for better services uh, experience, especially searching and picking stock, uh, further dedicated assistance to balance the product trial and self-service along with tie-up for quick transportation and delivery systems are required for improving uh, you know, uh, the store experience. Any uh, questions or any comments if anyone is there? Okay, identifying uh, performance deviations from the plan's original objectives. So, <clears throat> The growth is in social media fans following and followers should be uh, tracked for different markets separately. Growth of 10% per annum can be set, but the same should be consistent. So basically to begin, IKEA should track the growth in their social media fan base and followers. This uh, uh, with a particular focus on different markets, this data should be analyzed separately uh, for consistency, for example, aiming for a 10% annual growth in social media followers is a specific target, but it is equally important that this growth remains consistent across uh, regions and time periods. Uh, IKEA ability, a further conversation rate of new followers at the entry level age should be uh, monitored separately and quarterly basis. IKEA ability to promote environment and social measures should be uh, promoted online. Then a further economic aspect can be measures for the value of purchase made by customers returning the old or scrap furniture to IKEA for recycling. So uh, monitoring the uh, conversation rate of uh, new followers in the entry level age group are uh, typically 25 years and above should also be a uh, quarterly endeavor. This allows IKEA to uh, gauge the effectiveness of their social media campaigns in engaging and uh, converting young younger audience. Uh, moreover, IKEA commitment to environmental and social measures should be promoted online and this growth should be monitored for uh, instance tackling the consistent growth in uh, customers returning old furniture to uh, avoid landfill landfill and support uh, recycling uh, initiatives can serve as an uh, indicator of people uh, adopting iway principles also economically IKEA can measure the value of purchases made by customers returning old or scrap furniture uh, for recycling. This not only support their sustainability goals, but also provide an economic perspectives on their recycling efforts. Additionally, tracking the uh, turnover of suppliers and the percentage of highway implementation by worldwide suppliers helps ensures adherence to ethical and environmental standards. Uh, so any questions or 
any uh, comments? If anyone is there. Okay. So, uh, to assess the uh, success of stock management, stock management system implementation success can be measured through regular interactions with customers and feedback systems. Video can be uploaded online and number of customers using downloadable video during the product trial indicates uh, the success rates. Uh, IKEA might need to avoid uh, democratic designing, especially Asian countries having uh, low per capita vehicles and interest in uh, die, do it yourself. So to ensure the success of stock management, IKEA can employ various methods, regular interaction with customers and obtaining feedback and provide valuable insights into stock uh, availability, organization can and accessibility additionally ikea may consider training its uh, you know flow team to assist customers during the product trial ensuring that customers can easily find uh, and evaluate products monitoring the utilization of downloadable video videos during the product trial can be another indicator of success. So as a high number of customers using these resources uh, 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 signify that they find them helpful. Uh, also, uh, you know, customer engagement is essential for any businesses. IKEA is not exception. Given the uh, diverse market it operates in, IKEA should uh, tailor its engagement strategies accordingly. For example, you know, as uh, if you see that he's talking about Asian countries with lower per capita vehicle ownership and a, a greater interest in, uh, you know, do it yourself project. So IKEA may need to basically adjust its product offering and in-store experiences to align with these preferences. Uh, understanding and updating, uh, ad adapting to local consumer behavior and needs can significantly enhance customers' engagement. Any questions so far or any comments? Anticipate the need of contingency plans. Uh, there are three major uh, you know, risks during the implementation of plan. A uh, high turnover from value chain during the implementation of highway, uh, resistance to change by floor staff to learn assembling, a uh, low response to green initiative by entry level age uh, group. So, uh, to to address these risks, IKEA must you know these are uh, you know uh, there are, these are major three risks. So to address these risks, IKEA must proactively plan for contingencies. Firstly, IKEA should allocate a budget for uh, assistance during the implementation of highway. So this budget can be used to provide support and training to support supplies, suppliers and staff members who might face challenges in adopting the program. Additionally, uh, seeking arrangements with a uh, local government can help ensure a uh, smoother highway implementations as it may involve uh, compliance with local regulations and standards. So staff can be trained in initially on voluntarily basis and may be given rewards and recognition. So uh, secondly, to uh, counter uh, uh, counteract resistance to change among floor staff, IKEA can introduce voluntarily uh, voluntary training programs. Staff members who uh, participate can be rewarded from uh, you know recognized for their efforts. Uh, furthermore, individuals employed on a call basis or contract for assembly requirements can be trained to assist customers during their in-store experiences, uh, including product trials and uh, installations. This strate strategy not only address, addresses potential resistance, but also enhance customer services. 
uh, also to boost the response to the green uh, you know initiative among the entry level age group ikea can collaborate with a third party vehicle manufacturing such as uh, you know he's talking about toyota so uh, to introduce electric vehicles for transportation joint campaigns can be are uh, run to create awareness especially uh, among the youth Additionally, local non-government organizations, NGOs can be invited to spread awareness about IKEA Greens initiatives. So uh, these initiatives can help engage the uh, younger demographic and encourage them to support IKEA environmental efforts. Uh, any questions or any comments if anyone is there? Okay, so now uh, next is uh, develop alternative marketing mix related action plans that address the select objectives and selected strategies. So developing the right marketing mix is essential to business success. There are two basic steps you must take before uh, developing the marketing mix. So the first is identify your overall goal or marketing strategy. The second is identify your target audience and then you can process to develop the marketing mix. So what makes a good marketing uh, mix? Uh, a traditional marketing mix is uh, built around the four, uh, you know, P's. He's talking about four P's, product, P's, uh, sorry, product, price, plan, and promotions. So as businesses evolve, other factors become increasingly important. Uh, positioning is uh, one such factors representing the unique uh, place IKEA hold in customers' minds. It is important to uh, communicate this positioning effectively in marketing efforts. So considering uh, people, including employees, customers, and uh, vendors is, uh, you know, important. So the satisfaction and engagement of these stakeholders significantly impact IKEA success. Uh, moreover, profit is an essential aspect of any marketing mix. IKEA must outline its revenue goals and profitability targets to align marketing strategies uh, with financial objectives. Any questions or any concerns, any comments? Extending the marketing mix with key elements. Other factors you must consider when developing your marketing mix will increase the number of P's to eight and add one S. So uh, beyond the traditional four P's, you know, product, price, place and product uh, promotion, it's essential to introduce four more P's. Uh, firstly, positioning involves establishing a unique place in customer's mind. IKEA must uh, uh, clarify, define its position in the market where it's known for affordable furniture or sustainable home uh, solutions. Uh, then uh, people uh, people are central to the success of any business. In IKEA context, this include employees, customers, and suppliers, ensuring that these stakeholders are satisfied, engaged, and aligned with IKEA's values. Uh, it is important for long-term success. So then he's talking about profit, uh, what you plan to make, and... Uh, Clear profit goals should be established uh, within the marketing plan to track the financial performance of marketing efforts accurately. Uh, then uh, politics, those laws and regulations that will uh, govern the way uh, you do businesses. 
So politics encompasses the legal and regulatory environment in which IKEA operates. Compliance with laws and regulations in, is essential to avoid legal issues that could hinder marketing activities. So the S is probably the most important area for continued businesses with your customers are uh, sometimes categorized as a uh, uh, repeat businesses, but may, many companies seems to forget about it. It is services. So services is the most critical element for uh, sustaining business with customers. IKEA must prioritize excellent customer services to uh, foster loyalty and repeat businesses. Any question or any comments if anyone is there? Okay, no. Uh, decide your performance goal. So before you finalize the marketing mix for your business, you must first uh, specify the performance goals uh, for your business so that the marketing mix can help you achieve them so you should already know uh, your target target market is and what uh, uh, niche you uh, want to service so you can prepare the marketing mix to meet those needs uh, ask yourself what financial and other businesses goals such as expansion or increased profit margins you want to achieve so then develop the marketing mix with these goals and objectives in mind so here, basically, you should already have a clear understanding of your target market and the uh, specific niche you aim to serve. So with this knowledge in hand, you can begin uh, shaping your marketing mix to uh, meet the needs of your audience. Uh, so next, he's talking about uh, you know performance. What do you want to achieve with your business? This year, is it about increasing revenue, expanding your market share, or perhaps improving uh, profit margins? Identifying these financial and business objective is the first step. Uh, also consider uh, the stage of your uh, product or services in its life cycle. Are you introducing something new, maintaining an established offering to trying to achieve uh, uh, revive interest in an older product uh, older product your marketing strategies will vary accordingly uh, evaluate whether your products or services might uh, you know infringe or existing trademarks or uh, registered products if so have plan is a uh, place to overcome the potential uh, obstacle remember uh, keep in your mind that uh, having well defined performance goal uh, goals is the foundation upon which you will build your marketing strategy then uh, to ascertain these goals before setting your marketing mix answer the following nine questions what does the businesses uh, here are some questions you can see what uh, uh, does your business want to achieve this year how much revenue do you intend to generate and what profit margin are are you aiming for uh, where does your product or services stand in its life cycle what plans are necessary to complete at all stages uh, what uh, uh, target market and where do we fit uh, into uh, their thinkings time frame have we set for achieving our business and financial goals what resources do we have to use to develop the marketing mix are there any legal uh, ramifications or requirements related to uh, our products or services uh, do we have all the required license patents trademark and registrations for our product or services uh, does our product or services infringe any currently uh, trademarked or registered product or services 
If so, what plans are in place to overcome uh, this obstacle? Obstruct, uh, so these questions will guide you in, uh, you know, setting clear uh, performance goal for, uh, you know, clear uh, and actionable performance goals for your businesses. So next one is consideration for developing your marketing mix. Uh, consider the following question for each product or services you offer, target market section, uh, market segmentations, characteristics, product programs, uh, services offered, distributions, channel uh, uh, accessibility and availability, price including discount, incentive and uh, payment terms, uh, promotion, promotions type of communications, uh, techniques, Advertising, publicity, public relations, business uh, publications, brochures, flyers, direct mail, personal selling, telemarketing, networking, every product, service, or every different market you serve should have its own marketing, uh, uh, you know, uh, marketing mix. So we have to uh, remember each products or services or even different market segment should have its own tailored marketing mix to effectively uh, uh, reach your goals. So next one is, uh, Mark, uh, uh, any questions or any comments if anyone is there? No question? Okay. Marketing action plans, another easy method you may want to use to help you develop both your marketing mix and uh, promotional mix is the marketing action plan or map. It is map of what you want to achieve and how you plan uh, to do it. So your map is like a road map for achieving your goals. Each map should include the, uh, you know, uh, uh, design uh, following goals like a goal your goal is uh, you know uh, non specific statement about what you want to achieve so you your broad non specific statement of what you want to achieve then objective specific measurable action oriented statement of what you will achieve within a defined time frame uh, then actions these are the uh, tactics you will employ to reach your objectives. Uh, leader, the leader is the person responsible. Uh, so identify the person responsible for implementing and uh, overseeing the plan. Uh, you will notice that the first letters of the above heading also spell out uh, goal. Just a reminder to keep your focused. So here uh, he just reminding or remember that first letters of these components spell out goals serving as a remember to keep your focused on your objectives. Creating a map uh, for each goal or strategy will provide a clear path towards achieving your performance goals. Any question or any uh, comments if anyone is there? Okay, I hope everyone can see my screen and uh, can hear me. Next is the promotional mix. The next things to uh, consider is the promotional mix. The methods you will uh, use to bring your marketing mix into being the promotional mix consists of four elements, advertising, public relations, selling, sales, promotion. So first one is uh, advertising, the may, uh, means paid media placement element people are uh, most familiar with. So paid media placement in print, radio, or televisions, uh, it's uh, important to decide if advertising aligns with your budget and goals, uh, consistency in your advertising theme over time help uh, build family, uh, you know, familiarity. 
then uh, public relations include uh, uh, all public uh, publicity efforts. It is sometimes uh, thought that uh, public relation is free, but there are costs in staff time program, uh, development time and meeting the media. So uh, this includes all efforts to generate publicity. It is not necessary, necessarily free as it involves staff time and program development. Ensure your uh, PR efforts provide real value to the uh, community. Then next one is uh, uh, selling. This include both face-to-face -face visits and telephone sales. So this encompasses face-to-face -face sales efforts, telephone sales, and even uh, direct mail. Plan the number of calls and develop effective uh, presentations to engage prospects. Then is a sales promotion. This has to do with all the uh, ways and uh, means to move your products or services into the chosen marketplace. So these are special program of, of, uh, offered to the public to uh, drive sale. They often have time constraints and are used to move slow selling or seasonal products. So each of these elements plays a vital role in bringing your marketing mix to life and engaging with your target audience. Uh, next is advertising. Advertising is, uh, everyone knows that uh, it's paid media space in print, radio, or on television. So uh, advertising involves paid media space such as print, radio, or television. So here are some key points to uh, consider. Uh, evaluate whether you have the budget for advertising while it is common method of communication. It is not the only one. Uh, if you want to advertise, you need to develop a, a concurrent go, uh, concurrent theme for the con uh, uh, for the ads that you will place keep this theme in place for a period of time to allow people to become familiar with your offering so develop a consistent uh, theme for your ads that you maintain over time to build brand recognitions then you may also want to consider hiring a professional to create your advertising campaign uh, remember, uh, though, that any campaign must be considered within the uh, context of your marketing plan with the sole purpose being to get uh, you more customers. You don't want an agency creating award-winning campaigns that you uh, do not sell your, your product or services. So consider hiring a professional advertising agency uh, but ensure that their campaigns align with your marketing plan and aim to bring in uh, more customers. So also remember advertising is just one way to communicate about your business. Okay, so it's only one way to communicate about your business, not a guarantee of success of your business. Any uh, question or any uh, comments if anyone is there? Okay. So effective advertising and brand management, brand management. Uh, effective advertising and brand management are important for success. So, uh, you know, to uh, uh, to help you create impactful advertising, uh, you know, keep in your mind uh, is word a bridge, A, B, R, I, D, G, E. So A, 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 A means attuned, B, noticed, recognized, inconsistencies, D mean different, then G, growth, then E, excites. So attuned, A, ensure your advertising aligns with your target, audience and preferences and needs. 
uh, then be noticed, uh, grab attention with uh, compelling headlines or uh, visuals, then recognize means uh, create a consistent and recognizable brand image. Then uh, we'll come to uh, inconsistencies, uh, avoid inconsistencies in your messaging or branding. Uh, then D for different, highlight what sets your product or services apart from the competitions. Then uh, we'll come to growth, uh, means use advertising to drive business growth, then excite, generate excitement and interest in your uh, offering. Uh, effective advertising should follow the, uh, you know, IDA model, attention, interest, desire and action. So, uh, next one is here, okay. So, effective advertising should follow the IDA model, attention, interest, desire and actions. So, your, your copy should guide readers through these stages and clearly instruct them on how to take actions. So, <clears throat> All of your copy, whether it is a letters, brochures, email, should follow this simple process. So uh, IDA means, uh, you know, always uh, uh, com capture the reader's or viewer's attention. Typically with the compelling, it can fulfill the customer's needs or solve their problems. I uh, use pers uh, persuasive language and imag imagery to make your product or services appealing. Uh, then actions uh, promote the readers or view to take actions. This could be making a purchase, signing up for a, a newsletter or contacting your business. Uh, make the uh, call to action uh, clear and easy to follow. Uh, remember the IDA model uh, should guide the structure of your advertising copy, whether it is in a letters, uh, brochures, email, or any other form of communications. Uh, each part of your message should move the uh, audience closer to taking the desired action. Any question or any uh, comments? If anyone is there. Okay, public relations. Uh, public relation uh, is often misunderstood. So uh, let's bit clarify his role your promotion mix. Uh, public relation involves effort to generate positive publicity for your business. Uh, contra uh, contrary to uh, popular belief, it is not free. It uh, requires time and resources when you uh, see a new story about a company, uh, know what uh, that a lot of work went into securing that placement uh, submitting press releases is, is a common uh, public relation tactic, but don't assume that just uh, sending one guarantees media coverage or press release should offer something uh, newsworthy that benefits the uh, community or the media outlets audience. Uh, develop a, a public relation and press release schedule just as you uh, would for advertising, ensure that you uh, your press releases contain valuable news uh, rather than self-serving or uh, uh, frivolous content. Uh, remember, effective public relation can enhance your brand reputation and uh, credibility. Any uh, questions or any uh, uh, comments? If anyone is there. Okay. So next one is selling. Uh, here I uh, will talk about selling component of your uh, promotional mix. Selling involves the uh, sales effort 
whether it's done by your personally or by your uh, sales team. So some key consideration, uh, first one, plan the number of sales calls your team will make within specific time frames. For example, daily, weekly, or monthly. Then uh, create a structured outline of your sales presentations, uh, including necessary sales forms. Uh, then develop presentation and materials that salesperson can use to engage prospects. Uh, consider modern tools like PowerPoint, uh, uh, podcasts, webs websites, or blogs. Then uh, it comes to telemarketing. Uh, telemarketing and direct mails are also a form of direct selling. Uh, use these methods carefully to avoid turning potential customers off. Uh, then uh, remember that only you can decide if a personal sale call is necessary for your business or if telephone sales or direct mail is more effective. So decide whether a personal sales call is necessary for your business or if telephone sales or direct mail may be a more effective uh, based on your uh, target audience and product services. Uh, remember that your selling efforts should align with your overall marketing strategy uh, to maximize their impact. Uh, sales promotions, uh, last but not least, uh, sales promotion, which are special program designed to boost sales. These promotions often have time constraints and serve various purposes. A sales promotion are special program you will offer the public to sell more of your product services. So they are usually time constrained, for example, a coupon that must be used by a certain date. So sale uh, promotion can help move uh, a product that are slow to sell or uh, are going out of season. So managing inventory, uh, use promotion to add address temporary overstock issues, attracting new business services uh, providers in particular use, a sale promotion to attract new customers to entire, uh, you know, uh, former client backs. So uh, sales uh, uh, sales promotion are also used to move products that tend to be slow sellers are, are going out of season or are temporarily uh, overstocked. Uh, services providers often use sales promotions to create uh, new business or uh, and, and take and take former client back into uh, businesses. So sales promotion can take various forms such as discount, coupons, limited time offers, or loyalty program. Uh, when planning sales promotion, ensure they align with your overall marketing strategy and contribute to achieving your performance goals. Additionally, carefully track the result of these promotions to assess their effectiveness. In, uh, in conclusion, understanding and effect Actively utilizing the elements of the promotional mix will be instrumental in achieving your performance goals and uh, driving success for your businesses. Uh, that's it for uh, today. Right. Any uh, questions, uh, issues or concerns if anyone is there? Here some references as well or uh, any questions, any concerns or any issues. Okay, thanks very much everyone uh, to joining me for today's session. Uh, I'll, uh, if you have any issue, concerns or uh, questions, please drop me an email at uh, yasir at uh, ukversity.co.uk and uh, 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 thank you very much and uh, uh, have a good evening and I'll see you uh, next uh, Friday. Thank you very much and uh, bye for now.